thank you. All right, let's go up. So, shall we do? Do you want to do an intro? Maybe I'll put this down. Yeah. <laughs> filming our, the first campaign for the brand and we're just we're just kind of getting ready we had a um, a big run through yesterday and today is like the day where it all comes together and we film all the campaign content the theme is based around the the products which are these kind of black rubber and chrome objects so I guess that kind of led me to creating a world that references all of those textures and themes I, I guess there's a lot of kind of an S&M influence and so that we've kind of like played into that with the with the campaign concept so I have a really amazing latex outfit which mimics the materials in the packaging and then I'm kind of in this world and my reveal is is in this dungeony kind of room but it's all supposed to kind of reflect the direction and the mood of the packaging. We're always kind of trying to find interesting ways to have a, a reveal because I think reveals are always quite sort of an exciting way to shoot a face, you know, um, build up some suspense and then eventually kind of reveal the face with the makeup. This is one of the mood boards for the shoot. There's no referencing of any like classic beauty uh, here. It's all stuff from pornos <laughs> or like, or, or you know, like proper kind of fetish um, imagery. Uh, this is actually a Stephen Klein image and so is that one. And I kind of thought there was something really powerful about this woman with all of these hands around her. Are they kind of, you know, like cradling her face or are they, like manipulating her or something so we, we we're having a similar kind of setup for ours we were kind of creating a mood board of punk and, and of bdsm and of kind of berlin underground ravey culture because all of these things share a lot of the same kind of uh, sentiments maybe there's a kind of an outsider aspect you know there's a lot of masculine energy in in all of those kind of themes we landed on this just because ultimately it, we managed to create a really interesting story, but we definitely could have taken it somewhere else as well. I do think that this will challenge people only in as much as because of what it's referencing, which I think people possibly could feel intimidated by. You know, there's a, a kind of a... <laughs> no. <laughs> How do we talk about this? <laughs> How do we talk about these? <laughs> um... <laughs> I, I think, yeah, I think it might challenge people, but it should challenge people. That's the whole point of doing something like this, is not to, like, give people the same thing that they've always been fed, but to, you know, expand into new territories of beauty and, um, and aestheticism. I think, you know, it's always been quite important that tackling something like a beauty campaign, especially if it's for, like, my, my own brand, I really don't want to do anything that I've already seen that feels like commercial. I feel like there are so many more interesting references and viewpoints and themes in fashion. I feel like beauty is totally left behind. So I wanted to pick a theme that felt like we understand it and we definitely understand it from, from like a fashion perspective, but how do we talk about it or show it? from a beauty perspective. It's also important that whatever I kind of, the topics or the themes that I choose for the campaigns and the, and the collections, you know, it's not just purely based on aesthetics, but you know, I like the fact that something like, kind of, I don't know, like an S&M leather subculture is about empowerment and about self-expression and about liberation and that just felt like an important sort of sentiment. Jo, you're good at talking, come over here. <laughs> come on. <laughs> it's actually like yesterday when we were doing the test day, it was like wicked to see like it all come together. We were like testing different bits and bobs. Like when you had the um, rubber, no, it was like a whole oh, bed. Oh, the vacuum bed. And he was like being vacuumed <laughs> in and out of this thing. It was like mental. Do you like, think people are going to find it scary? No, I think I find it actually like quite fierce, do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> it works, it works. Like, by doing what you're doing with this theme, it's not like you're saying only people that are into this mm. are good, like, 
are going to be included, but it's kind of like you have the option to maybe explore it as yeah. a woman and not just be like, well, you're a woman, so you're going to go to a party and look glam. <laughs> it's like you can look at this and be like, oh, maybe I'm not, I don't want to do it, but I like the vibe and mm. I might take a bit of it and mm. like use it in me every day.